Hey, Team HQ Sports. Welcome in to the GOAT of all trivia apps. It's HQ Sports, right? I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and man, it is good to be here inside your phones tonight. We got a good one lined up for you. We are celebrating the GOAT. familiar faces in this game don't want to give too much away for you the greatest of all time at their respective sport of course let's see what you got if you know it all this is just like any other game of hq sports i'm going to ask you 12 questions if you can get them all right then you win tonight's prize is a pot of one thousand dollars oh yeah one thousand dollars to the goat of this game you're also going to be earning those points for every question that you answer correctly tonight because we are in season four if you're up for more of a challenge than that then pick up a point multiplier that will increase your chances of leveling up super fast to earn those coveted free passes you can get those free passes all the way up to round 10 which is super helpful because we got 12 rounds all right before we get to all these goats and we got a lot of them Kind of like a barn in here right now. Let's warm things up a bit, shall we? Before every game of HQ Sports, we get a warm-up question out on Twitter, at HQ Sports. That's where you can find us. If you didn't get a chance to tweet your answer, then just drop it in the chat right now. I want you to make your case for your goat using five words or less. Let's see how you did. At SRaley93 says, Bo knows everything. Sure does. That was three. At Ghost of Church says, six rings, three MVPs. That was four. Going to take a gander and say Tom Brady on that one? At Vil Vid said, Messi didn't need God's hand. Wow. Five words. A goat claim and a jab at Maradona. I like it. At Savages94 posted a picture of Michael Phelps and said, all the medals. Another three words. Super impressive. You guys are doing great. At Tiny Ball of Hate says, the hick from French Lick. Oh, yeah. Five words to describe Mr. Larry Bird. Bonus for the rhyme, of course. At Edward A. Haven says, Megan Rapino, bigger than sports. Three again. You guys are killing it. At John BDA4 says, Sean White. No more words. Another three. This this is out of hand now. At CJ and a bunch of numbers, put up a picture of the Undertaker and wrote, "Still rising from the dead." It's all the record. North American floofy floof. I'm talking about the real athletes here. As much as I love that cute face, we're talking about the sports legends, the greatest of all time, the best of the best. If you know them, now's your chance to win this thing. Round one starts right now. Which contender for GOAT of the quarterbacks was picked latest in the NFL draft? Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, or Joe Montana? Should be nice and easy if you're familiar with your goats. Peyton went earlier than literally everyone at number one overall. Montana was picked 82nd overall in the third round. And if you've ever watched a single game Brady played, and there's been a lot of them, you've heard the announcers say he was picked 199. Oh, yes. Tom Brady can't be mad about it, though. He's the most winningest quarterback. Tom Brady is your... Brady with six rings at 41 years, 11 months, and 12 days old, as so many people like to remind us. 
chat right now. But before we move on, you can't be the GOAT of this game if you're knocked out early. Ali didn't become the GOAT by getting knocked out early. No, no, no. He did the knocking out, right? So knock this game out by staying in the ring. And you can only do that with extra lives. So pick up extra lives right now. You can use multiple per game. If you get up to, you know, your free pass on level 10, get an extra life around 11. You have even more chances of winning this game. Let's get to it. It's round number two. In which of these events does Usain Bolt not hold the world record? Yeah, couldn't be a game of goats without the fastest man alive, right? No one beats Bolt in the 100, 200, or the 4 by 100, not the 400 meters. He set records in Bolt in 2008. Show us the goat! Oh, not that one, but that's the South American cutie cute goat. No, show us the fastest man alive. Four, five, and six. All right, there he is. Take a look at that time. Let's see what he's going to do. This is 100 meters. Oh, my goodness. He is indeed the fastest man alive. But the 400 meters was not the record there. 63,167 of you getting that one right. I mean, he did that in under 10 seconds. Most of us can barely answer it answer a question in 10 seconds right gotta give props to the fastest woman alive though flojo what's up as we move to round number three the only individual player to win more than one heisman played at what school alabama ohio state or notre dame wow more than one heisman what you have extra time huh? I Yours is a good one. It's like really bad. Nice. NFL. All right, rounds one, two, and three are out of the way. That's the easy stuff. It's getting tougher from here on out. Here's round number four. Which UConn star has the greatest number of most outstanding player awards? Diana Taurasi, Maya Moore, or Brianna Stewart? Oh, yes, UConn. They breed ballers, don't they? This is a record that's going to stand for a while because you can only win four, and Brianna Stewart won them all. Four other players won twice. No one else even has three. But Brianna, the goat Stewart, she's got four. 36,554 of you getting this one right. Wow, knocking a bunch of you out here at round number four. Hop back in, tap that heart to get back in here. Hey, Brianna Stewart, the reigning MVP, sadly out this season with an Achilles injury. We're hoping to see her compete in the 2020 Olympics. How fun will that be? Round five. Which of these World Cup records did Pele not set? Youngest hat trick, youngest cup winner, or youngest red card? All right, you're going to keep the good and lose the bad here. Just show us the goat. Oh, you again. That is the cutie floof of the East Coast. No, we're looking for Pele. Show us Pele. There he is. Pele was the youngest World Cup hat trick at 17 when he put three up against France in the 1958 semis. He was the youngest cup winner and two-time cup winner. He did not get a red card. Youngest red card is the answer here. 42,703 of you getting that one right. You know, in part because red cards were not official until 1970. So there's that, but he didn't, he didn't get anything anyway. All right, a lot of you are moving on. I see a lot of you coming back in the game. Let's do it. Round number six. What country hosted the Olympics that saw Simone Biles win four gold medals? England, Brazil, or China? Oh, Simone Biles, one of my favorite athletes of all time. This GOAT has won a total of 25 Olympic and World Championship medals. So far, that is. At the 2016 Olympics, Simone was the individual all-around gold medalist. And she also won gold for right there, the vault and the floor. 
She did all of that in Rio. Mm -hmm. Rio is in Brazil, of course. 40,457 of you getting that one right. You know, not to mention that she won another gold with her team. You know, the final five. You remember that? I can't wait for the next Olympics. It's going to be fun. We got a second half of the GOAT game right now. Round number seven, let's do it. What franchise has won the World Series with the greatest number of regular season wins? The Baltimore Orioles, the New York Yankees, or the Chicago Cubs? The Cubs had the most wins for a World Series participant with 116 in 1906. But they blew it in the final. Who was around in 1906? Let me know in the chat right now. But it was the 1998 Yankees with 114 regular season wins that are the champions with the most wins overall. My New York Yankees, of course. So the answer here at round number seven, 41,475 of you getting this one right. There were just so many great Yankee players. We couldn't pick one. We just had to pick the whole team. Uh, they're arguably the most successful team in sports history with 27 World Series championships. Just saying, hey, do you need a little bit of a seventh round stretch? So do I. So take a look at my pick of GOAT of the Year. Spoiler they play soccer. Let's see the goats. Oh, look at that floof. That's a good floof. That's a handball. I yes, this is who I meant. Not that goat. You got me all focusing on that cute goat playing soccer. What I meant, the U.S. women's national team. Those are the goats of the year, for me at least. I hope you got your stretch in and enjoyed both goats in that situation for round number eight. Before he won 10 titles as a coach, in what conference did John Wooden play college ball? The ACC, the Big Ten, or the Pac-10? Still thinking about that little baby goat. So cute. UCLA dominated the Pac-10 and the world when Wooden was a coach, at one point winning seven straight titles. But before that, Wooden played college ball at Purdue, which is in the Big Ten. The Big Ten is your answer here at round eight. 24,319 of you getting that one right. Wow, knocking out over 39, over 40,000 players here. This is a little semi-TKO. We're getting close. We're dwindling down. The true goats are remaining. You could be one too if you tap that heart right now. Get back in this game. We got a few rounds left. Let's do it. Round nine. Out of his 18 majors wins, which tournament did Jack Nicklaus win the most? The PGA Championship, the Masters, or the US Open? Talk about a goat. Nicklaus was so dominant. He could put together three completely different career Grand Slams. He only won the British three times only, right? Everything else he won more, but it was the Masters that was his favorite. He won six green jackets at the Masters. Oh, yes, the greatest, the most major wins. The Masters is the answer here for Jack Nicklaus. 26,603 of you getting that one right. And, you know, a lot of people make the claim that Tiger is the GOAT. He is right behind him with five Masters wins. Do you think he has what it takes to either tie Jack Nicklaus's record or beat it? Let me know in the chat right now. We're moving on to the final quarter. It's round 10. Which all-time tennis great has winning head-to-head -head records in singles matches against the other two? Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic, or Roger Federer? Yesterday's men's singles championship was long. I wasn't going to give it away for you here, even though the outcome of that does not affect this fact. You can pretty much argue that all three of these guys are goats. And even though some might want to give the title to Fed, the Joker has a winning record against both. Novak Djokovic, your Wimbledon champ yesterday. Your answer right here, right now, 21,582 of you getting that one right. And there are only two questions left. I see over 3,000 of you tapping that heart, coming back in the game with an extra life. You only got two to go. Let's see what you got. Round 11. What player assisted Wayne Gretzky on the greatest amount of his record number of goals? Yari Curry, Paul Coffey, or Mark Messier? 
I guess A. I think it's A. I guess A. Oh, I'm Playing C. with Gretzky was a great way to pad your stats. He both gave and received record numbers of assists. No one assisted the great one more than Yari Curry, who gave him 196 helpers between Edmonton and L.A. Yari Curry is your answer here. 16,132 of you getting this one right, naming one of the greatest duos in sports history. But I got one better. Could be you and round 12, huh? How about that duo? I can't take credit for that. That was my producer, Laura. But listen, you came this far. The game of goats. With one question left, do you have what it takes to become the greatest of all time at HQ Sports? Let's see what you got. Round 12. What team was eliminated in the playoffs by a Michael Jordan-led team the most? Cleveland Cavaliers, New York Knicks, or the Miami Heat? Couldn't be a game about goats without MJ, right? MJ ruined a lot of seasons in his career. He ruined the Jazz's chances at a title in the finals twice in a row. He kept beating the Cavs with buzzer beaters, but with the Bulls, he knocked out the Knicks five times. His most frequent victim, New York Knicks, is your answer here, and we have 9,534 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations! that we got here 9,534 winners oh yeah looks like we are all taking home a prize of either 10 or 11 cents and I know what you're gonna say but that's 10 or 11 uh -huh. cents more yeah. than you started with 18 minutes and 53 seconds ago and hey you got to look at like real goats and real goats so it's a win either way Kara 25 11 cents is coming your way Orin in Candenza 10 cents is coming your way Babalu that looks like a little flu flu 10 cents is coming your way as well Natis 11 cents is coming your way look at all the floofs I love it I am truly in the presence of greatness it is an honor to be held in your hands right now you may be the goats at HQ Sports. It is quite possible, but you are definitely our newest MVPs. So congratulations again. That was fun. We should do it again. How about same time Wednesday night, huh? Oh yeah, that's our schedule at HQ Sports Mondays and Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to catch you back here on Wednesday. If you're a fan of Stranger Things, then stick around for Stranger Things trivia up next at 9 p.m. Matt, just messaged me. It came through on the watch. He's stuck in the upside down, so I gotta go save him. Until next time, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.